साइड लिया बेंडिंग का फिंगर लिया इज इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज यस basic stances uh, there are main uh, five stances which is coming vatta chuvadu neeta chuvadu kon chuvadu aaka chuvadu chaata chuvadu mm. so these stances we will be using through the moves have you done any other kind of martial arts forms uh, yeah i done krav maga and had learned something about kung fu uh, so in kung fu another horse riding stance yeah yeah this is uh, so kind of these yeah. stances only we will be connecting to throughout the syllabus and their syllabus right so right. these stances are really important the foundation we can say after right. that uh, which is coming as ashtavadiva the animal flows or the animal moves animal right. postures uh -huh. so there are uh, there are more so many are there but main important eight are there so which we adapted from the animals and the birds which we say uh, basic one which we will start is this ashtavadiva yeah is uh, this is this also based on animal it, it, it is actually like the tradition way but there is another art form which is called animal flow yeah, yeah. they do different way yeah okay uh, this is our old tradition right. way right. color which we figured i figured yeah. <laughs> so uh, ashwavadi the horse stance uh, yeah. and uh, after that sarpavadi the serpent posture serpent. and uh, after that gajavadi the elephant posture and uh, after that, that that's uh, this one right uh, that is different way oh, okay. uh -huh. that is gajana <laughs> with devi no. all right here it is different okay, okay. because the importance of the postures and the senses it is it's not only just learning that move right. which is helping you to improve the strength flexibility as well as the stability and the mm. mind and body coordination yeah. so when it comes uh, after gajjo body then mayura body then mm. peacock posture uh, then kukkuda body rooster then uh, wild boar varaha uh, body then after the final one simha body lion posture so this moves when we go through that uh, drills we can understand how good it is so sure. let's start let's, let's start, start with uh, ashtavadi ashtavadi okay ashtavadi. so all right here first one uh, come come this way we'll face that towards sure. that side so it is called ash uh, ashtavadi the horse posture so our hands should be here whichever leg we move forward that the hand should be front so you can keep your right hand front first we are moving right leg forward mm -hmm. right hand we will be covering now from here swing your leg for backward and bring it forward So in this push, your look will be in between the hands, sharp. Then two, keep it down inside. Yeah. Then deep inhale and there is head movement which is coming. So inhale, inhale. Ah, which hold there. Then two hands on belly. Same way. Inhale. Elbows. same thing our hand will change left hand will be front mm. now left leg forward
this one, what animal was this? Uh, first one is Ashur, horse horse. Horse horse. Yeah. horse, horse. Now next one, when it comes to segment. I'll show you once. When you turn your neck rotation will be happening here. One. Uh, without getting. So the deepest distance. One and two. Uh, so see getting up it, so when we get up it is easy. Mm. The deepest stance one. Or you, you stay low. Uh, two. Right, right. Two. Uh, done. One. Uh, other hand will be always on the chest. So here, so one important thing behind this is hidden applications. Hidden applications. Application. Because this looks like a very good exercise regime. But when it comes to Ashwavadi, normally comes right, to catch me or something, these kind of things, normal catch or mm. holding, right? All of, suddenly people will come and hold the neck. Mm. So go, one, one. Mm -hmm. Getting it. So what we do, Ashwa Vadibu. So when we do as exercise, it will go like this. Mm. When it comes as application, even if you try to catch, go. Try no normal catch. So my hands are up inside. See? Mm. Already blocked it. So it comes as Right, so the, the, the postures you use, like inside of these postures, you use defensive moves. Uh, that you get the, the body to know yeah. these. Yeah, right. But normally in uh, initial stages, we will not be revealing this. People will get confused more. Yeah, so yeah, much yeah, data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you do? Just do this as exercise. Exactly. Make sure you relax as right. Later Once they will realize yeah. that. Uh -huh. When it comes to normal fight, it's not like we do like this. Mm. There are basic way fighting techniques we'll be doing. So here, basic things will be opening like this. Lord, mm. when it when it goes to surf over, we are simply keeping. But this is like we are bending the fingertip. So the important thing is here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, because here, yeah. Is, you know. There is a degree, right, inside <laughs> that <laughs> length. Wow. Because <laughs> this is very important because even if the, when it comes to very hard people, right. very like very, very built people, their hands here, everything will be strong. Right. But there are some points, the vital the, yeah. points, <laughs> that will never become hard. Can like we not train this? Like no, uh, that <laughs> different ways are there. <laughs> <laughs> like different, dif different ways are there. Yeah, yeah, conditioning sure, sure. people will do. Yeah, but yeah. this is a very weak point. Yeah, here <laughs> I can the feel it. The <laughs> system, no? I feel even like when, when you, I feel like, no, 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 just don't go there. You yeah, go inside, yeah, actually. Yeah. I just kept it like yeah, 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 yeah. So there are different ways sensitive. When we teaching that later. Right, okay. Right. Let's try the second. But it is all already internalized within the... Inside the syllabus. Right. So the good thing is after once they complete all the conditioning and all, when they are revealing this, they will be able to connect it easily. Mm. Starting to tell so much data, they will get confused. So and also uh, people different will be coming with a different mindset. So uh, first we'll teach everything, but everything will be there inside. But whoever is in need, whoever is really uh, uh, deserving it, mm. for them only we have to reveal. The moment revealing it is more easy. They can, once they get an idea, they can connect everything inside. Them. That way. <laughs> so let's try one of the yeah. important uh, stands in Kaladi, sure. which is called Gajavadi, elephant posture. Right. Okay. So when it comes, first we open our legs. One, two, and three. Uh, not very big, it will be actually our shoulder width, finally. So one, two, three. One, yeah, it will be our shoulder width. Now, yeah, how is it about shoulder width, right? Oh, no, no, that is more, no? <laughs> <laughs> uh, before, <laughs> see, see uh, what I'm telling you, according to everybody's feet, when yeah. they take very, very big, yeah. this will be the shoulder line. <laughs> you no, know, according to your feet also, you, when you take one step, it will become shoulder, yeah. your shoulder width. Yeah. Right, see what I mean? That is more less for you. First one, make bigger. Slide. 
clear compared to because normally walking also our foot will not be straight like right we will not walk like this so slightly it will be out to it right, yeah. so that way we have to keep so that will be more stability on the foot not really yeah so we done so one two three now we have to bend the move will be starting from here one and how to get up so the number will be take it bring your hands from there ha the important thing is actually uh, the initial stages kids will make them to test the floor actually they test the floor and come in initial that. stages ha so in your first day you have to i know not the first day <laughs> i mean the, uh, when the on uh, when it happening the metari that time because right. naturally when uh, what will happen in kalari also according to the human life there is a stage which is coming five stages are there as i told you kalari five to five stages are there mm. same way in human life five stages are there balyam mm. kaumaram yavanam vardhakyam nishyam five stages in human life right so same way when it comes to kalari five to the first stage balyam the same time our body will be naturally very lean and very flexible that time mm. but it come kaumaram that means the teenage time will be so aggressive i mean we can do so much of quick moves and the jumps and other stuff when it comes and the flips and all that time it will be our body will be ready for all those right, things right right when it comes to yavana means when it after 18 our body will have more aggression more power so mm. when it uh, that by the time we will be reaching into the weapons and all we can do very hard at that way exactly. that, and uh, after that when it comes to vardakyam uh, when we will get into kalari treatment other mm. vital point uh, learning all those things varma learning and all finally nishwana means the final stage when it comes to kalari yoga and the meditation other stuff that is the human way when we do so same way when somebody has to learn that the right time to start is 7 years so that time when we are considering i am telling but when we start after 30 40s and all yeah. we have to consider rough but we can't push them as much as how we do with the kids sure sure, yeah. sure. that is it so and let's try yeah let's try yeah. so 1 2 3 1 2 3 i've never seen an elephant do this by the way Huh? I've never seen an elephant do this. Elephant will not do this. <laughs> <laughs> see, when did it? Okay, let's see, let's see. So now okay. go. Okay. Okay. Clap. Now bring your hands. Now from here, go down. This should be 90 degrees, not more. And the elbows should be closed. The spine has to be straight. Yeah, looks straight. And chest, if possible, bring your chest parallel to the floor. That down. And look forward. elbows this hand will be touching above the uh, on the upper lip this both there and looking above that back is covid this has to go inside ha huh. and looking forward okay back has to be straight to one deep breath one two three four Now we are moving from there. First, close your left leg. One. Uh, close and open it. Two. We'll come to the position. Ready? One. Two. One. Without getting up. In the deepest stance, we are going. Okay. One. Close. Two. One. Two. One, two, one, two. Back is bending. Back has to be straight. Otherwise, we will get back pain. One, two, one. And close and two. Yes. One, two, one. Close. Uh, we are not dropping the leg. It's like single leg we are holding, and we are moving. Two, one. See, we are just closing and two. Now, one. Elbows close. Two. Now from there we are going to turn two seventy degree. One and two. This way, this way, right? Yeah, one and two. Yes, elbows close. Now we are trying to move a little faster. Make ya go. Ready? One. Two, three, 
Four. Very good. Back straight. Elbows close. One. Two. Three. Four. Knee work, man. Good. Good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, get so you get strong this, legs. Uh, this way, the good thing of this is strong legs and strong core. Yes. It will, it will nicely improve. And there are a lot of throws in Kalari. Edit the digger. So we'll be taking the opponent and throwing. Same way, traditional sayings are there, like uh, Anavari, Hanumanwari, mm. Balavishi, Kavadi. So that different way how we throw the opponent, how we lift the opponent. Some of them in a general fitness class and our people will be doing. Taking this, right. So these things, if our posture is correct, our root, lower body is correct, lifting is not at all in the difficult mm -hmm. if our form is not correct we will not get it mm. so these things will help us mm. same time to take and throw opposite side anything even if i want to take him throw this way so these things will become more easy but it is the condition because in general class we all have to all the kids have to start from there they have to come here and go back each posture right so this is the way we have to start and this three over yeah. there are more one more we'll try sure this coming up Mayura Vadiva. Mayura Vadiva. Mayura Vadiva. Vadiva means posture. Mm. The peacock posture. So first what we'll do, we'll keep our hands like this. Sure. Left leg forward. Now right leg, there is an in raise kick. Like it will round our leg. Yeah, we'll do one in raise and be there. We'll stretch our leg from here. Ah, toe should be pointed. Look forward. Bring your leg a little more up. Let's try without jerking. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly come back. Don't drop. Slowly come back. Slowly go forward. Same way. Right leg forward. Left leg in. Right leg forward. Now right leg forward. Left leg in right. Ah, and stretch your leg. Because it's that is when they take, take another <laughs> uh, nearly three, three and a half minutes, we can do one stretch. Ah. The syllabus is there. Because when we come, try to complete the syllabus, uh, the body, the fitness level will be. Because uh, deep stances, splits, jumps, skip moves, sudden turns, and uh, jump, single leg squat, sitting, yeah. all this come, will come along with this number. Ah. So, and there is a uh, prayer syllabus, salutation syllabus, which is called Pootara Vandana. You might have done. 
so that itself is a good exercise regime and preparing that's like a uh, pre workout session like a warm up session kind of because that when we finish that's a ritual the same time when you finish the uh, syllabus your body will be ready for the entire session okay. uh, i can I, c i can see now why it takes such a long time to get better at this because yeah. those are complicated no, no, no. those are very complicated uh, routines <laughs>